Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Loon Light. This is going to be a reading for the Equinox, which is today on the 23rd. Um, this will be a reading like energy, collective reading for the Equinox on the 23rd of September 2019. So welcome to my channel and um, this may or may not resonate with you. It may resonate today, it may resonate, with tomo resonate sorry, tomorrow, or it may not resonate at all. Um, it also might resonate next year. Who knows? Time is fluid. <clears throat> Everybody's on a different life path. Um, if it is for you, you will know it basically. Okay. So let's start with, uh, a, uh, let's see, let's start with the energy, energy oracle. Or let's start with the cards first. I don't know what to do. Let's start, yeah, let's get an energy oracle. So an energy oracle, I, I have, I love stones actually. That's how I began <clears throat> my spiritual journey. Uh, the first step was stones, or stones. I, I'm really attracted to stones. Uh, I don't know, it's magnetic. So this is an appetite. You can actually tell by my name, Crystal Lune, which is crystal and lune together. I'm a Cancer, so I'm ruled by the moon as well. So that's just a little bit of info on me. So this is an appetite. Appetite is good for clearing the mind, okay, the nervous system. It's uh, any mental blockages. It clears any mental blockages, okay. So that's appetite. It's usually a blue color, like a really, mm, not turquoise, but like a really true, it's a true blue, like a, it's almost like a mixture of turquoise and navy, all right? Blue-green almost, okay? All right, so let's try this. So we're going to start with the energy oracle. Oops. These cards are so big as well. But they're better, I mean, they shuffle better than the uh, soul's journey, which I find. Was it the soul's journey or... I don't know, the animal, the spirit of the animal by Kill It Darlene, very, very huge cards and a lot of them, so I find it hard to shuffle those, but I love them, they're gorgeous. Okay, so let's start. Energy Oracle, so Spirit of the Light, Spirit of the Light, Spirit of the Light, Guardian Angel, Ascendant Masters, Gods and Goddesses, Ancestors, God Almighty, Source. This is a reading for the Equinox, the Fall Equinox. November, uh, sorry, September 23rd, 2019. What is the message, Spirit of the Light? Oh, that was quick. <clears throat> Let's get, we're going to try to get three cards. Two more, sir. I feel like I have to take these two. Okay. <clears throat> oh, four. Okay, let's see what we have. We have action. We have door to romance. We have walking away. And we have, wow, the sun. Beautiful. This over here. So, what? This, what? Okay, so this is great. So the first one is action. You can tell, it says action. So it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the time to uh, get it moving. Um, if you've done the work, we've had like really um, very powerful energies for the past six months, pretty much, um, between the eclipses and all those planets in retrograde. So now we have uh, finally Saturn went direct on the 18th, which is amazing. Especially for those who done the work, because while Saturn was retrograde, it was like forcing us to deal with the last or the biggest, you know, um, shit we had to deal with, and that we were pushing, you know, push, pushing under the rug. And Saturn was like, "Okay, what are you going to do now?" So if you didn't do the work, unfortunately, it's going to keep coming back. Now, if you did the work, get ready to, you know almost have a second chance, a chance, a clean slate, a new page, and then you have Jupiter too as well going, that went direct. So that brings like fortune, good fortune, prosperity. So it's time to act on your dreams. It's time to, you know, finally get out that notebook with your dreams and start, and just start basically. 
okay with a full force there's there's a lot of forcefulness in this in this uh in in this card and then you see there was a storm and now all of a sudden we can start seeing the light the sun shining right on top with a little bird which is a symbol of freedom <clears throat> then we have door to romance so is there a romance hmm i think there's romance coming too is it the romance between you and yourself you and your higher self are you loving yourself again door to romance or maybe there's somebody i think this is more internal it's more you okay because i don't see any male here plus from all the other cards i mean i think this is your personal door to personal happiness personal fulfillment and personal balance emotional balance okay then we have walking away walking away from the past walking away from all those burdens that were swept under the rug that you finally took care of walking away from those burdens those people those places that no longer serve you walking in walking into finally your abundance and having one last look learning the lessons you had to learn and just going through that door for new and then when you do that you will find joy this is like ultimate joy and bliss okay she's like inside a bowl pretty much with the little lotus flower she's like in the water water emotions she's comfortable there's a sun shining it's just beautiful okay it's it's balance it's luck it's happiness it's abundance right okay let's get um i don't think i'm gonna do the witches tarot i'm just gonna do energies yeah because i like i mean i like i think i'm gonna do for the big events which are equinox you know eclipses and stuff like that um planet retrogrades i think i'm just gonna do oracles for those it seems right for me you know and then um i'll start doing uh daily readings 11 minute minutes i mean collective readings every day and then from each time i'll do monthly readings and mid-month readings um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm planning on doing um it might change though who knows so <clears throat> now let's go to the oops beautiful soul's journey oracle cards this is an amethyst as you all know amethyst is the mother of stones but after the clear course if you have to have one stone it should be clear quartz or amethyst amethyst is good for meditation it's good for the crown chakra amethyst is good for mental and physical balance amethyst is it it does all basically you just have to program it pretty much pretty much all the stones do whatever you tell them to do that's how they work so amethyst is like a deep purple this is a chevron palm stone it's uh polished there are all types of amethyst polished non-polished so yeah amethyst is great so here we go Spirit of the light, spirit guides, God, and masters, what do you have for us? On this fall equinox, on the 23rd of September 2019, for the collective Spirit of the light, spirit of light, spirit of light, spirit of light. Can't talk today, I don't know why. Spirit of the light, spirit of light, spirit of light, spirit of light. So what do you have for us? For the collective. Oops. And here we go. One more spirit. Maybe two more. I'm going to do three, three. I like the number three. Although my life path number is seven. I love seven and three. Three seems like, you know, balance. Mind, body, and soul. Whatever, I'm rambling. Okay, so we got death. What else, spirit? Spirit of the light. What else? Two more cards, please. What do you have, spirit? There we go. One more, please. There we go. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> so we have, oops. Ooh la la. So we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, okay? Walking away. When you know that endings are beginnings, then you can walk away because you, you have perspective, okay? Then we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So trust in the universe, trust in yourself, you know, um, tune in. Ask your guides to help you meditate do the work um you know oh, no need to worry worry because when you start making up stuff in your mind you manifest them so if you if you think negative you're going to manifest negative so why would you do that you know give away the worry and replace it by hope and trust all right then we have envy 
I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yes. Because everybody has their own path, like I said. And you might see people that are very wealthy, that have you from outside. You think they have, you, they have everything they want? Little did you, do you know that at night they don't sleep. They have demons. Yeah, at night they have so many demons inside their head. And you're like, if you could be them one night, you would be like, oh, hell no. Thank you, no. Okay? So think about you. Work on you. Because all you have is you. Don't start worrying about other people, what they're doing. You have, a, you have enough work to do on yourself. That's what I'm saying. To have time to worry about other people. So no, we don't want that, okay? And with this death card, that's what happened with Saturn going retrograde. It gave, it the, gave us the possibility to be reborn, to put, it, to put the bed, put the rest, everything that didn't serve us, you know, people, places, and whatever, so we can that, let that die and be reborn. And be reborn how? Into the sun. Magical, okay? So we're going to finish off with a crystal, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. So this is tiger's eye, which is good for courage and determination, right? Moving forward. So this is what you need to walk away. And this is what you need to walk away and take action. It is tiger's eye, all right? Tiger's eye is kind of like a... Uh, how do you say it? like a caramel with little you know strikes it almost looks like gold it's a goldish caramel candy looking like stone it's very pretty right and it's like an eye of a tiger that's what it's called tiger's eye duh okay so here we go crystals this is for my beautiful crystal souls out there like me spirit of life spirit of life spirit of life guardian angel ascendant masters gods and goddesses ancestors <coughs> God Almighty, Spirit of the Light, Universe, Source. What do you have for us on this fall equinox on September 23rd, 2019 for the collective Spirit of Light? What do you have for us? Three cards, please. Ooh, that's too much. Let me take this one off. One more, please, Spirit. Oops, there we go. Then I'm just going to look at the bottom of the cards. Just to, it's, it's, I'm called to do that now. Peace, balance, shine, ruby, ancestors, petrified wood. So, peace. Peace is what we're seeking, what everybody's seeking. Peace and serenity. I know that's what I'm seeking. So once you do all this work, and you're, you, you turn the page, you let it die, you finally... You start anew, and anything is possible. It's a white canvas, so it's white, it's blank, it's peaceful. You know, you're coming from zero, so you can peacefully start over and with balance and, and, and just start a new project, you know? Whether it's a love in your love life, whether it's at work, whether it's like renovating your home, I don't know, peace. That's what we're seeking, basically. So what it's telling me, maybe, is that you got to trust and, 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 and always try to be at peace with yourself. When every time you're, you're, you're feeling doubt, you know, or worry, do whatever makes you feel peaceful. Go for a walk, meditate, take a nap, you know. It's very important to be peaceful inside, you know, mind, body, and soul, balance, equilibrium, just peace of mind, you know. And then we have shine. This is the time to shine. This is the time to find your shine. Why? How? By loving yourself, taking care of yourself, inside and out. I don't get. Uh, go get a massage. Go do your nails. Um, go do your hair. You know. I'm not saying to cut it off, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shine, shine. Let your inner light shine out. It's ruby. Sorry, the peace card was a scolocyte. Okay, this is ruby. Ruby is deep red. It's passionate. It's it's like sexy. You know, look at that. The reds. Red is your sacral chakra. It's your base. It's 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 your anchor. 
Let that, let that come out, emerge, you know? Then we have ancestors, petrified wood. So maybe you had to deal with the Saturn retrograde with um, ancestral patterns. Who knows? I know some of them, some of the people had to. Some people always have to. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Or maybe it's saying you should ask your ancestors for help. All right? There's your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're always here. Ask for help. You know, they're not going to help you if you don't ask because they don't want to invade your privacy. They're so nice, right? And respectful. Yeah. But when you ask them, they're generous too. They're everything. They're here for you. So ask them, okay? So bottom of the card with the energy oracle, just to sum it up, what did I have? The thinking man. Get that masculine energy out. Stop being all up in your feelings or balance it out, whether you're male or female. This is like the entrepreneur mind. This is like the go-getter. This is like the action taker. That's the thinking man, all right? The, 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 like the dream, first you dream the plan, then you take action and you make it real. You make it alive. And that's the thinking man, okay? Then we have um, balance. What did I say? Balance. The feminine and the, and the masculine. Balance um, yourself so you are at peace to then, you know, st start getting with it, going with the plan, your plan, your dreams, your aspirations. It says, I bring state of perfect harmony into my world, world sorry, and I do so without judgment. Judgment, without judgment or without worry. And then I find balance. You find balance, okay? Then, last but not least, we have conflict. Instead of having that mental conflict, rather, look for balance. That inner conflict, no. We want balance, okay? Not. What are you going to choose? Conflict or balance? Inner conflict or inner balance? I think this is a good closing statement. <laughs> yeah. It's your choice, remember. You do whatever you decide. You can be anything you want to be, anyone you want to be. But you have to be willing to do the work. It's not easy. It is not. But it is possible. And I think that's enough of a, you know, enticement to know that it's possible. So take a chance, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Um, thank you for coming on my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> love, all my love from Crystalline. Love you guys. Bye. Peace and light.